Welcome back everyone to Auda Amharic, where we learn the Amharic language through literature and of course through reading the Ge'ez alphabet. Today we are with uh, Ndiriyas again and let's share uh, whatever, you could see my whole screen, I don't care. Uh, we'll share my screen for now. And I am also presenting. So here we are, Mazmur Sabat. Uh, and Dirias, did you have any questions about what you sent me last time or do you want to jump straight into the Mazmur? Um, let's see. Ella Yamia Sen Nyo Guda Yoch Sile Neberu. Other than maybe, uh, as you've previously indicated, Yemi, the prefix Yemi means like one who does so and so. Mm -hmm. So in this mm -hmm. case, and and it, remember, it's a he he slash it always. So uh, it could be a thing that does or he because everything is gendered, but it doesn't mean that because it's gendered, it's talking about a human being. So in this case, as you as you've indicated. Masenyet is grievance or sentiments. No, ker. Ker is grievance. Oh. Oh, okay. Masenyet is a sentiment or feeling. And sentiment is nice because it's almost a, a cognate, you know. It's a false cognate because those words are not related. But it's almost a cognate with the English sentiment and here masenyet. They're not too far off uh, phonetically. Um, so those yeah. those two um, those two words, ker and yemi yasenyu, are uh, constituents, <laughs> meaning they, they group together? Yes. It, it's what gives you the sentiment of grievance or the feeling of grievance. So that which gives you the feeling of grievance. Yes. Huh. And, and it's referring to the word after that, which is good dayoch, which are matters. So matters which give you, which cause you grievances and yes. Is, oh wow! That give you I, the sentiment or feeling. Okay. Or grievance. I guess that's the only question on that I have for now. Um, this um, number seven is kind of a kind of a long psalm. <laughs> oh, this is not too bad, friend. We have much longer psalms. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and read it, and then we'll interpret it. Mazmur Sabat. Okay, Mazmur Sabat Koter uh, and yeah, Abetu Amlake Beinne Beinte Bante Bante Tamen Hu Kemia Sad Dun Nain Dun. That's it. Tricky one. Uh, Hulu adene nain na out an nain. Out ein. Out ein. Right. Mm -hmm. Abe tu am la ke bante tamar hu kamiasa de doing hulu adene na out ein. Any yeah, words that, you recognize here? Um. Let's see. Uh, yes, yes, there are. Um, Abetu, oh Lord, I'm la K is my Lord. Yeah, but don't turn it into a K. It's K. I'm la K. Right, right. Okay, but beside that, not really. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My God. Banta. Anta is you. Banta tamanhu. I placed my trust or my faith in you. Where's the which which element means trust or tammanhu? Okay. Comes from imnet, which means belief or faith or trust. Those are all synonyms. Gotcha. That which you hold to be true given the circumstances of uncertainty. That's the Semitic understanding. It's uh, it shares a root with the the word amen which was uh, erroneously called Latin by uh, some of the children of the former leader of the free world. 
Kamiasadidwing uh, comes from the root word of sadeda or masadded, which is to exile or to persecute. So the root is SDD? Yes. And it's to exile someone or to persecute them, depending right. on the context. So in this case, does it mean from someone who exiles? Yes. Or turns me into a sojourner. Or you can say banishes. Okay. Or excises. Hulu, right. you should know. All, that means all. Adineng, I think you should know by now. It means save me. Oh, uh, okay. And out ein comes from mautat, to bring out from wudchi. Remember that the ta and the cha are related? Wudchi is outside. Mautat is to bring outside. Out ein is to take me out. To bring out or to take out. Mm-hmm. So it's a synonym for save me. So, you know, save me and take me out of the, all the situations of persecution, exile, banishment. Right, right. Okay. Um, right, gotcha. Uh, so, so the, the be bante is like, it's kind of strange because uh, it, it's that's a sixth vowel as opposed to a first vowel. Which one are you talking about? The third word in the in the in the psalm. Uh huh. Which one is sixth? The i. Uh. No, there's no i. Uh. That's an a. Oh gosh, I guess I guess. Look at it. Look wrong. at it closely. Look at look at the a there versus the exabiet in the title. Right. I see. I see. My bad. The I uh, uh has a longer squiggle than the A. Uh. Okay, darn. <laughs> well, that makes a lot more sense then. Baenta is a Giz word, which means for the sake of, but that's a different story. Oh, interesting. In the church, often they'll say, Baenta mare amarna Christos, for the sake of Mary, have mercy on us, O Christ. And, uh, various saints are called in this way. I actually oh. almost named a podcast Bente Ethiopia. I have a friend who's uh, coming back from Ethiopia. It should be this week or next week. And, and uh, we'll be doing a lot of topics on Ethiopian history. And one of the names I played with was Benta, which is for the sake of, if it was an uh, but this is an a uh, Banta, which means in you. Wow. What a, what a striking coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. So the the second one then? Kotar Hulet. Okay. So Kotar Hulet. Nef sein in de anbesa net eu. Net kao? Net kao. In dai seb ruat yemiad yemiad na yemitadeg. Sai nor, nor, sai nor. Good. Yeah. Mindenomatirada. What do you understand from this row? Nefsain is my soul, spirit. Mm -hmm. okay. Soul, soul. Soul. Uh, inde like it like or is is like well it's not an is but like mm -hmm. ambasa ambasa's lion. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the final, the, the last word in the psalm is nor. I don't know if that has anything to do with norre, which means to live or to have, to have being as you once translated it. It is. Okay. Then in that case, that, but other than that. Other than that, I, yeah. I don't know any of it. So words. my soul like a lion, netko and daisebrat, netko is to steal or to take. Netaka is to steal or to take. And daisebrat, you should know because of that linguistic, uh, uh, what is it, the 
the internal or the middle repl replication that you've been looking into. Word uh, internal so, reduplication. Yeah, word internal reduplication. One of the words we did was sabbara, sababbara. So this is the same root. So sabbara, um, sababbara here in dai sabrat, so that they do not break her, her being the soul. So so that they do not break and take my soul like a lion. Yemiadin, one who saves, yemitaddeg, and uh, you know, one who gives me support, sainor, without there being one uh, who you know gives me support and saves me. So the, the final part, the sainor means without in this uh, case. Yeah, without there being. Oh. Huh. I, I, I've, yala, I've... yala, without is yala. But Sainor is without him being there, or without it being there, or without them being there. Right. That's uh, is that is that another is that another prefix? The Sai. Uh yeah, Sainor, Saishal, uh, Saishal means, um, you know it's probably better. Mashal is to be better. Saishal aikaram, people say a lot. It's, uh, you know, so it's like more than likely that this is preferred. Right. Oh, but, it's but it's weird because it's like said in like a double negation. Saishal aikaram. Aikaram means uh, like it, it won't not be there. And Saishal is... Um, without it being better this was kind of a double negative huh wow that's 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 a lot of a lot of factors there <laughs> um yeah, it, be uh, careful quick, what you ask for quick question on the yemi yadin den na one who saves is that is the na a, an and or is it part of the word it's an and okay it's an and gotcha and na all right. Yeah. Gotcha. Kotersost. Kotersost. Abetu amlake indi indi s kader indis kader ghu am am amet am be ij binor nor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what that is. So, oh Lord, my, uh, or, or, oh my Lord, indis kader. I don't really know any of those words, to be honest with you. Indis is like this. Okay. Kaderku comes from madreg, which is to do. So if I do like this, amasa is rebellion. But a J is in my hand. Binor comes from that Nora. So if there, uh, if, oh Lord, my God, if I do it like this, and if rebellion is in my hand. Which part means if? Uh, binor. So that, that's the element that in indicates if? Yeah, it would be like, it's the subjunctive. So it's like, were there to be rebellion in my hand? I'm saying if now, but it's it's probably more like, because it's the verb, you know, it's the same verb as, as living as in the last sentence. So it's like, were there rebellion in my hand? Or were there found rebellion in my hand? It doesn't say found, but, you know, it's like that. Right, right. Abetu amlake in this kader gu am amet am beij. Okay, gotcha. Beij binor. Abetu amlake in this kader gu amas am beij binor. Yeah, yeah. I I actually probably could have known uh, am amet am and ij. Now that I think about it. <laughs> 
No worries. That's why we're here going through literature to see uh, the words as they appear organically in their various forms. Kutar Arat. Kutar Arat. Kafu Lader Gub Nain Kafun Mel Shel Sha Shel La Chow Behon At El At Ainum Beken to Gef Chow. Ah, cho, cho, cho. You do this a couple of times in this sentence. Make sure ta is ta and ta is ta and cha is cha and che is che. Don't confuse them. Gotcha. Uh, Bekentu gef cha cheu behon behon. Ndasuno, like that. Right. Kufu la dara gubinyam kufun malishe la chau bahon talatinam bakantu gafiche bahon. Kafu, not kafu, but kafu is evil. Kafu, kafu. Oh yeah, it's a six. Okay, kafu is evil. Um, talatinam is my enemies. You're turning both into ta. Don't turn both into ta. Talatenum. Te. Te. No. Yeah. Talatenum. There you go. Is my enemies or my enemy. Bekentu is in in meaninglessness or nonsense or in vain. That's right. And I maybe I know Gefcheu but I, I can't recall at the moment. I only know those. I doubt it, but the go back to Kufu. So Kufu, Ladaragubinyam, the Nye makes it first person. Ladaragubinyam is uh, if, so uh, it's those who have done evil to me. So it's evil, those who have done to me, with evil, and you should know malishe lacho because you know malasa. That was one of the words we were going over earlier to return. So if I return evil upon those who do evil upon me, buhon uh, is uh, if I were. You know, it's again, it's this is all subjunctive here. Talatinum and my enemy, as you said, bakantu, as you said, gafichel uh, buhon. Again, the Bohon is the subjunctive, like were I to be. So were I be to the one who magfat uh, is to push, uh, or it could also be like to oppress. But if it were I to push meaninglessly my enemy, and were I to return evil to those who do evil to me. So this, this, uh, this, psalm line of part of the psalm is like an open-ended it's not like a complete sentence because like correct and and the guff show is to push or to oppress yeah huh why why is the um she lacho why is it why has it become a sha instead of a sa i don't have a good answer for this case but I would say in all the Semitic languages, there's this funny interplay and shift between the SH and the S. I think that points to it probably originally being Negususa, um, but there are different theories. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Quarter. Uh, Amist. Amist. Elat. Nefsain Yasad Dat Yas Yasad Dat Yag Nya Tem Tem Hiwetanum Bem Der Lai Yer Get At Kabrainum Bet Bia Lai Yawar Dat Dat. So this is the solution to the subjunctive questions of the past two lines. Talat nefsein yasad didat yagin yatim hiwatenim bamidrlai yirgatat kibrenim batibialai yawaradat. So tell me the words you know here. Mitakachokalat. 
So once again, Elat is enemy. Nepsain is my soul. Yasad, I don't know that one. Yagin, you should know that one. That's the first one we discussed in line one. Oh my. Oh the ex. Oh yes, that's true. To exile or to persecute or perhaps to banish. Mm -hmm. Yagenyatum is. Does that have something to do with find? Yes. Okay. So just that first part. May my enemy banish my soul and find her or exile her and or persecute her or ban whatever you want to translate that or SDD as may he do that to my soul and find her. Huh. And then Hewetainum is my life. Mm -hmm. And the moon makes it end my life. So it's continuing the kind of curse upon the, on your own soul. And the ma is the and, okay. Bemer medr is uh, upon the earth. Bemer mm -hmm. my is upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Or in the earth? In, in or upon? Upon the earth. Upon the earth. Okay. I mean, y y you can say in the earth, but it doesn't make a lot of sense in English. So upon the earth. And lie means upon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ye yer get at. I do. Merget is to uh, put under your feet to make your footstool. So that's what this is a form of. Yeah. Uh, like if you know the Greek Paschal hymn, uh, trampling down death by death. So it's like trampling or to put under your feet. Huh. Cap Right, right. So, so it's still talking about the enemy and it's saying, may the enemy make my life his footstool upon the earth or may he trample my life upon the earth. Right, right. Kabrainam betibia lai yawardat. I don't know. Other than lie, I don't know the, the rest of the you word. You don't know kibr? Actually, tibia is chaff. Yes. Yeah. Good job. That and you know, in, say it again. That was in the first. Um, that was in the first. Yes, I do know Kabur, but Chaff was in the first Psalm. The That's very right. First. Chaff or trash, either one. Both work. Could you use that word in contemporary, like mo in modern day Amharic, to mean like trash, like on just trash yes. lying somewhere? Yes. And in fact, I do, but I will say it's irregular. Most people would just say trash with an accent. Oh. Uh, yeah. In English. Right. Cabrenum. Oh, I th I'm, I'm thinking glory. Like, it means that word means glory, but I think that's actually cub as opposed to ka. No. Uh, it's a synonym. Some people translate it as glory. I prefer honor or veneration or respect, uh, but yeah. My honor is what that word means then? Mm-hmm. My honor in tra in chaff or trash or what have you. And then yawardat. I don't know that one. That comes from, you You know, wurdenibab, which is descending. Uh, Mored is to go down or to descend. And so yawardat is to make lowly, to humiliate, to embarrass. So, oh. and may the, may the enemy. So if I don't fulfill these things or if I'm found doing these things, it continues the curse upon yourself. May my enemy make my honor uh, humiliated, lowly, embarrassed, descended, you know, down into the trash or into the chaff or upon the chaff. Right, right. Right. Okay. Then in that case, that, that all seems... Yeah, okay. Otter sadist sadist okay abetu beme at tennis bet ella toche bet ella toche lie bequit a quit a tennis bacho abetu amlake bezes who who te is as 
So shout out to the Halil Selassie Bible, but notice how they've been using the Halil Tawhid the whole time, and then they throw in the Kh Ha out of nowhere inexplicably. Now I use the Ha all over the place. Here they use it arbitrarily, just because they feel like it. But yeah, Abetu b'ma'ati tanes betalato chelai b'kuta. You said kuta really well, by the way. B'kuta. Most people say kuta, but you said ku very well. B'kuta tanasabwa tanasa. What do you understand here? Uh, okay, so the meat is I could be I could be confusing this for another word, but it means like my years or my age. No, uh, I see why you said that. That would be ba'amate. Ba'amate oh, okay. is in your wrath. Oh, okay. It also has the connotation of many. Uh, I yeah, told you my, I remember, my, uh, yeah. one of my uh, one of my grandfather's cousins. I just call her aunt, but she used to argue, and she's older than my parents. She used to argue that traditionally this word is only used for negative things, like a swarm uh, of locusts or something like that. Other people kind of try to use this word positively. So the contrast is between bizu. And ma'at. Bizu is neutral in that it could be used for good or for bad, but ma'at, she would argue, is exclusively for evil. Do you do you agree with that that point of view or I I tend to go with her. Uh, she's an older Amharic speaker. Uh, and so I think she preserved that. So I'll I'll go with her. And that's how I've seen it in the church language as well. And why else would the same word mean both many and wrath? Like the, the word bizu doesn't mean wrath. It doesn't have a second definition of wrath. So where else would the wrath come from? You know, it, it yeah. seems like a, like a biblical minded interpretation of plagues as coming from God, you know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Just, just, to, just to continue with the word, the words I do understand. Uh, bet elatoche. Um, upon my enemies in the plural form and then mm -hmm. with uh is um in in anger mm -hmm. tennis sabacho i don't know tennis but it's in the sentence twice we've done tennis before so tennis is arise oh darn i do i did know that arise okay arise or stand up But Kome is also stand up, right? Correct. Well, anyway, I'll, maybe so I'll. So you, you can make one of them arise and the other one stand up. You know, depends on right. the translator. I, I would make maybe Koma stand up and this one arise, but they're synonyms. If it, if it means anything, the word resurrection in Gez is Tinsai, so it comes from this root. In Greek, it's Anastasi. That's, that's right. Like one of, that's one of the few Greek words I know. <laughs> Christos anesti, alitos anesti. Yeah. Uh, let's see. But to continue, just the last little bit of the sentence. Abetu amlake is, oh my lord. Mm -hmm. Bez, oh lord, my god. Oh lord, my god. Abetu is, oh lord, and amlake is my god. Oh lord, my god. Okay. Let me write that down. Bezez ho. Bezez ho. Oh, sorry. That's true. That's right. Bazez how te izaz te izaz means like decision or judgment. Yeah, order. You could command. say judgment or decision, command, um, decree, dictat, whatever. Decree. Tazaj okay. tazaj is one who is obedient. Matazes is to be obedient. Um, Tizaz is like an instruction, uh, an ordinance, a statute, a decree, a diktat, any of those words. Right. I don't know the rest of that last part of the, the last end of the sentence. The other two words, nika and bazez hel. So let's go back to the beginning. Abetu bama'ati tanes. So, O Lord, arise in your wrath. But alato chelai, bakuta tanasapacho. But alato chelai. So upon my enemies, 
uh, arise upon them in your anger. O Lord, my God, Bazaz Ho, so Bazaz Ho and Tizaz share the same root. So it's like by the command that you commanded, or by the statute that you statuted, by the ordinance that you ordinanced, Nika, awaken or be awake. Or as the kids say nowadays, be woke. <laughs> um, so the the bazes bazes how that's a that's a tricky word to say for me, but um, that is a verb. Yes. Okay. It is the past tense, but it's in Semitic languages the imperfect, so there's no clear ending. You know, it's not clear that 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 order or ordinance or whatever you translate this word as is the same. And the other point that I'm making is it is the same verb as the next one. So um, typical of the Hebrew Bible in Genesis, you have, you know, you will die death. And a lot of translators don't like that. So they'll just say you will die. And there's something in the language that gets lost in translation. So a lot of people would just translate this and they would say, as you commanded or as you ordained or something like that. But I wanted to make clear to you that it's bazazho and tizaz are the same root word. And so there's an extra form of repetition when you're using the verb and the noun together like that. Right, right. It's like dying death, living life. Interesting. That, wow. I'm sure there's a lot more to say on, on, on why that, that it, it's said that way. The biggest thing is just emphasis. Um, it's like you have a recalcitrant child, and so you're a parent, mother or father, and you berate the child by repeating yourself. And then the child, you know, already is repeating your words while rolling their eyes because they know what you're going to say, and yet they're not doing it. So there's a reason why you keep repeating yourself. You know, what is the English idiom? It's like, uh, was it something like, I don't want to be a broken record or how does it go? Uh, not preaching to the choir. I feel like I'm a broken no. record. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And so it's, uh, it's using repetition to emphasize a point. Right. All right. So Kotar Sabat. Right. That, that's right. Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kotar Sabat. Ye Ahezabam Gubai Ye Keb Pal Be Inner Sum Lai Wede Kefuta Temeles 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 Right. Ye Ahezab is a uh, people, like a people. Plural, peoples. A people. Sorry. So it's uh, in the context of scripture, it refers to the Gentiles this way. Right. It's the peoples. The uh, Hizb is the people, who is Israel. Ahizab is the plural, which means peoples. Right, right. Or is everyone that, else. Is that what uh, is uh, plural? Or no? Yes, G oh. is plural. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And it's an irregular is plural. Hizbahizab. You would expect hizb hizban, but it goes hizbahizab, which is why a lot of people butcher it in Amharic and they'll say ahizab uch and they'll add an Amharic plural because they don't understand it's already been pluralized in guz. Right. And then gubae, I don't know that. Conference or gathering. Oh. conference or gathering that's another example like a lot of people in the church will use the word kubai because they're, they're familiar but there are a lot of native speakers who who will just say conference with an accent you know conference on them you know yeah yeah and then you kept i don't know is circle it's the amharic translation for out which is the name of this program out amharic so kibbe circle to yikabhan uh, is they will encircle you. 
or they will surround you. Oh. Uh, or they, you know what I mean? They'll make a circle around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But inertum lie upon them, wede, mm -hmm. kefuta, something to do towards, something to do with evil. No, kefuta is elevation. Oh, elevation, okay. Yeah, kef, kef is uh, to go up. Oh, yeah. Of the kuff, kuff. That is in a different psalm. I, uh, the cuff, cuff. And then Temeles as um, was responded. Return here. Was returned, okay. No, just return. The it's, a, it's, a, it's in the imperative form. Return. This T doesn't make it a passive? No. Okay, not here then. Um... Okay, so yeah, that's 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 this sentence. Upon them towards elevation returns. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is accurate. Return, but... return. Okay. Gotcha. With cement. With cement. Exiabiher. Beahizab Yifer Dal Abetu in Inde Tke Fur Fured Lane Ling Inde Yewahinetem Yehun Lane. I don't know how I that that was a little shaky, but that was good. Xavier by Zabi Fardal. Abetu in the Sirke for a ling. And the Yahuanetim Yunaling. Right. Um, Yferdal. Okay, so Yferdal has something to do with judgment? Yes. And then Xavier is God and the Ahizab, God in the people's judgment. God will judge the peoples, or God's judgment will be upon the peoples. Oh, okay. God's will be upon. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Abetu um, is, O oh Lord, inde like my righteousness. Uh, this here it will be according to my righteousness. Oh wow! But you're right, and that does mean like in that way. You maybe maybe as would be better than like. So as my righteousness, you know, like yeah. my righteousness according to my righteousness. Judge me, for mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the the at the end the name makes it towards me, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Okay. In the Yewahinetem, I probably, it probably has, I don't know if it has something to do with knowledge, but I, or the word no, knowledge. No, no, uh, I don't think you know this one. Yehua means innocence. And so a lot of times in Amharic, people will be like, they make this noise with the onomatopoeia, and then they'll say, uh, to say my innocent mother. And the reason they say that is people have taken this word and abused it. And, you know, there've been various connotations. Maybe some linguists wouldn't like me using the word abuse, but basically people mean it to say like almost ignorant or like, you know, you, you don't like you're innocent in the sense of, you don't have a lot of street smarts, you know? Don't know any better? Yeah, you don't know any better. But here in this context, it just means, you know, according to my innocence, let it be to me. Okay. Let it be to me. Okay. All right. Um, right. So that makes Kotar... Um, don't know nine. Zetain. Zetain. Well, I got seven, so I'm, I'm it's better than than previous weeks. 
Yeah, Sabat Cement Z Eng. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Yeah, hat on. Ha an. Yeah, hat an. Kaf, uh, kafut, kafut yet. Kafat. 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 Darn it. Kafat yet. Yet fa. Sadikun gen ak 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 ken na exabiher lebun nan na kwe la liten yimer yimerel ral. That was really rough, but I got there. It's so funny. I, I knew this saying, I didn't know where it was from. I knew it was in the Bible. I didn't know where it's from. Now I know where it's from. Now I'll say it's in Psalm 7. So, Yahat an kafatit fa sadik ungin. So, here you did good to, to have the instinct that it's in now or end, but here it's not end. It's actually a part of the, the verb. Akna. So, not akna, but akna. So, sadik ungin akna. Igziabihir le bunan na kulalitin yimaram meral. Uh, that's I, I I always knew that Xavier Lebunan not So what do you know here? Um, hat on is probably something to do with sin. Sinners, sin. and and that's the giz conjugation. And I'm and I'm hard proper. It's hat ya but in giz it's hat on. Oh okay. Kafat is something to do with evil. Yes. And then yik. I don't know that. Matfat, it's used now for like turning off the light. Like it says, oh, turn off the light. But the technical term is very funny when you think about it. It means like to destroy or wipe out. So like people are like, oh yeah, wipe out the light. <laughs> but yeah, so may the evil of sinners be wiped out or destroyed or decimated or whatever be destroyed right right his righteousness or the righteousness but the righteous one oh the gun the gun mm -hmm. however the, yeah the gun is but or however uh yeah gun akna i don't know akna i think you may have just said it but or, akna is to make straight To straighten, to correct. Kin, kin is like straight or correct. So akna is to make straight or correct. That sounds like the word for day. Oh, kan, yeah, kan. But this is kin, and uh, you know, righteousness is kind of a Greco-Roman abstraction. The original Hebrew is like a correct path. So it's like, you know make the one who is in the correct path correct or straighten the one in the straight path you know if you if you dug through the hebrew right right uh um Lalit is maybe has to do with night. And no, that's a good is. guess. I'm pretty sure it means liver, but uh, let me let me check. Sometimes I'm off on the body parts. I'm pretty sure it's liver. And the uh, lub is the heart has something to do with heart. Correct. Uh, Lubuna is hard to translate. It's like your conscience or your inner thoughts. Oh, that's weird. Uh. Bizarre. Yeah, just take it as liver for now. It could be kidney. God, it could be tick. Hold on, let's let's try Google Translate. Are you still there, Andreas? Yes, yes, still here. It's getting a little dark out, but <laughs> yeah. It's weird. You know what? It's not working for me, but it's either liver or kidney. I'll look it up later and uh, get back to you. So, yeah, the Lord 
investigates, you know, liver and kidney and the inner thoughts, or like you said, uh, libuna is related to the word heart. Lib means heart. Libuna is similar to that. And in the Semitic understanding, the heart is the throne of the thought. So it's as if they're saying your brain or the place where your thoughts reside. So the Lord, Yimaram uh, Morales, investigates. So he investigates or researches, you know, some people use that word for research now. Here, I would say investigate um, or examine. He examines or investigates the either kidney or liver and the, the inner thoughts or, or the conscience or whatever you want to say. But it's built off the word lib, as you said. Right. And lib, lib na, na, qu, I'm not, uh, that's a set phrase. Oh, what do you mean? The, the, Ixabiher, lib, na, 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 kulalitin, yimerem, meral is a set phrase. Uh, you know, I knew it, but I also know a lot of church people, so I might be biased. Um, but I did not know that it was from here. I knew it was somewhere in the Bible. I didn't know where it, exactly it was. But it's one of those sayings that I, I, I knew, you know, growing up. Right, right. One of those, like... like people say it. People say it. Like, people say, But they don't tell you that it's from Psalm 7. Right. Like, like uh, judge not lest ye be judged or something like that. Anyways. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. My grandmother, before she passed, used to quote Eob in Giz. Uh, the book of Job. She used to say, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. She used to say that to me in Giz. Oh. Um, I, I don't think she has a Giz book of Job lying around. It's just like one of those things people in her time must have said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I guess Kotar uh, Asir Asir Igzi Abiher Yet Ed Yes, yet a dick gashaye now a libe libe in nor not a notchen yemiad nacho. Exab here is Ilka gashaye no libe and watchin yemiad nacho. Exab here yet a dick gashay now the Lord is my righteous shield. Yes. Wow. I, yeah. <laughs> you got it. That was good. Yeah. And then yeah, all those words are from previous. Well, the those two, the second and third word are from previous weeks, I recall. And then nacho. The rest I maybe have seen but i can't recall if it's a, so we just talked about this word ken and it means straight or correct so uh, those with a straight heart he saves them oh uh, okay so so what part indicates those with a straight heart lipa is a is conjugation style and it means heart of and kenoch are ones who have uh, ones who are straight so ones who are a heart of straight right it sounds weird in english but you know it's like talking about good people with good character right and so for the say the verb that means to save what's the what's the the root is the the madhan madhan although madhan is giz and it's madhan with bizwan ha but uh, people often spell it madan in Amharic, so they simplify it and they make it ma da and then ni, and it cuts out the h. So it goes from m d h n to just m d n. Yes, and that often happens in Amharic with h's. Habasha becomes abasha, hagar becomes agar, hadis becomes addis. Yeah, that's that's a common that's like one of those uh, linguistic principles that applies to all these different languages all over the world, Cockney English and Span and Spanish and all that. Anywho, um, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. a simplification. It's a, it's yeah. like when you get you know people who are less literate and more people speaking it. Like you have far less literate people speaking Amharic and far more diverse people speaking Amharic. You go for what's simpler. Right. Yeah. To the speaker, not to the writer. 
Right. So this, okay. So those were the straight hearts. Say, uh, the the one one last time. The second half after no. Those were the straight heart. He saves. Mm hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, Otter. Um. Uh, Otter eleven. Asra and. Asra and. Igzi abiher. Ya unet danya now. Uh, hi ha hi ya lenyam tagash m now. Hul gizem. Uh, I quot um quot um. Yeah. I quot um. I quot um. Qua. Igzi abiher ya unet danyano. Hailenyam tagashim no. Ulgizem I quetam. Okay, so um God God something about you net is truth. Mm-hmm. Danya, I don't quite know. Danya is a cognate with uh, the the name Daniel in Hebrew. Uh Danya means judge. Um my grandfather's name was Daniel, which is judge him. Here, Danya is judge. Or it could also be referee, depending on the situation. Um, when you play basketball in Ethiopia it, nowadays, they, in any game, it's very interesting. Different than the practice here, they make the people on the sideline who are next in line to play, they turn them into the judge or the referee. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so something like third-party neutral or judge or referee so uh the lord is a true judge oh i was thinking it would be judge him truly no but, yeah is of so the lord of the nation of truth judge is is a true judge okay okay uh uh hi yelenyam tagashm no um i uh that one i don't know hail is power or might or strength so he is a mighty one he is a powerful one he is a strong one tagash matagas this is another s to sh shift matagas is the infinitive tagash is one who is this and it's one who is forbearing, one who has forbearance. Okay. Hul gizem all time. Uh huh. Does that mean like like all the time, as in constantly, or all time, yes. as in like forever? Uh, you'll see with the next word. What's the next word? I quote. Quot um I is not quot um is that sounds so familiar but I can't place it. We did quota today. Oh, quota wow. is anger. So oh. he's not angry all the time. Oh okay, not okay. Wow. I mean, I see something different in in one of the in one of the letters, and I can't make the connection. It's okay. <laughs> Slowly but surely, the egg begins to walk on her legs. I'll read the rest um, as we close up, and then you know we could talk a little bit after the recording. Right. <laughs> Azagajem, Asrasost, with Asrasost, Yamut, Masarianim, Azagajebet, Felaz Aochunim, Yemikatalu, Adarrege, with Asrarat, and Naho, Bahamas Atach and Naka, Gudatins and Nasa, Hatiatinim, Welleda, with Asram Mist, Gudguadin, Masa, Quaferam. Badaragom good guard, you had kal. Quit asra sedist. 
ጉዳቱ በራሱ ይመለሳል አመጻውም በአናቱ ላይ ትወርዳለች ቁጥር 17 እግዚአብሔር እንደ ጽድቁ መጠን አመሰግናለሁ ለልኡል እግዚአብሔርም ስም ዘመራለሁ ስብሃት ለአብ ወወልድ ወመንፈስ ቅዱስ ለዓለም ወለዓለም ዓለም